I'm sitting here with my buddy Matt Murphy. How you doing, Matt? I'm good. Yeah. Man, it's good to see you. You know, right. when I first met you, it was one of Buster Buddies, about five years old, just started uh, driving. Uh, NASCAR sponsored you, and uh, that was a big deal back then. Yes, sir. Because you were one out of three kids in the in the nation that NASCAR sponsored. Um, what got you starting? Uh, started in a uh, race car driving well my grandpa Clarence Miller <laughs> was a drag racer and one Saturday night took me out to Farmington Dragway and uh, that's where I started drag racing that's where it all started and the uh, rest is history pretty much wow <laughs> uh, you feel real good it makes you feel real good uh, and like I uh, say Matt is a grandson that I think every grandfather would like to have the type of grandson Matt is I mean, you know, you, you, you race cars, you're an entrepreneur, uh, honor roll student, which is hard to do when you're doing all these things. That's right. Um, awesome young man. You have your own nonprofit. You do some fantastic things. Uh, I remember the last time we talked, SHARE, uh, which is a back to school event that you do, uh, which sponsored 200 kids and families. Right. You're up to over 600 now. That's right. That's serious, man. Tell us about SHARE. And how it got started? Well, uh, it's Matt Murphy Four Foundation, and Project Share is a part of that. And under Project Share, we do uh, our annual Back to School Health and Image Fair, right. and that's where we uh, fed, uh, have health screenings, uh, gave book bags and school supplies to over six hundred homeless youth and their wow. families. So we've done that ever since two thousand eight, I believe. Right. And so it, it's really took off for the good. I mean, the, the obvious. Uh, why did you see the need to, to start this uh, nonprofit? Well, you know, racing is an expensive sport, and I feel blessed, mm -hmm. you know, to be able to go out and race. So I feel like I should help people that's less fortunate than me in some type of way. So uh, it all started. <laughs> I cleaned out my toys when I was a little kid, and instead of taking <laughs> them to Goodwill or something, we, we gave them to a homeless shelter and it, it started from there. Miss White, his seventh grade teacher, who's also his big fan, she comes to a lot of his races. Um, she said at church, she said, of course asked about Matt and she said, one thing I really remember about Matt is that he's very humble. She said, I had to find out through just little conversation from Matt, pulling it out from him, that he was a race car driver, that he did all of this, work with his hands, loved to work. She said he never really brags about that, and a child his age would, you know, brag with his friends and, you know, compete with his friends and all, she said, but he's just very humble, and you would never know that, you know, he just goes out to do, and you find out from when you see, his, see the results. Matt is an humble child. He really has lived with us all of his life, from birth to now. Uh, spends lots of time in Winston, and I love him. He's always a good son, uh, grandson. He generally follows all of my requests, and uh, he's, he goes about doing his work. And we don't have to push a lot, but sometimes I do as a grandmother because I want to see the best in him. I always say, Matt, I'm behind you 100% in whatever your endeavors in life are. Just as long as you give me a return, you must make good grades, and you must give back to your community. And I always pray and ask God to lead and guide you in whatever decision you make in life. And that's serious business, man. Yes, sir. And God is going to continue to bless you. Yes, sir. Um, I remember uh, you racing here at Bowman Gray uh, back in the day. Um, and now you didn't step your game way up. Uh, take us through your uh, career in uh, race car driving. Yes, sir. Uh, I started off at five years old drag racing, uh, Farmington Dragway. Right, I remember that. Dragway. And then in 2008, I was recruited by NASCAR to drive in the NASCAR Bandolero Series. And that's where round track came into play. Uh, Bandoleros are about go kart size. <laughs> yeah. They have a full body. I remember a little cute Matt in those cars, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Yes, sir. Look at you now. Okay, go ahead. Yes, I'm sorry. sir. Yeah. Uh, and then in 2012, when we stepped it up to the bigger scale cars, like a NASCAR size car, and uh, we don't make as much horsepower and not as fast as uh, as the as you see on TV, but we can get up to about 145 at our biggest racetrack. So I go from going to about 90 <laughs> mile an hour on a good day to 145. Woo! <laughs> Have you ever been nervous that? Uh oh. 
I've only time I've really been nervous is you know when I first started and uh, 145 mile an hour and you spinning out, you go from you go one <laughs> way then the other way then turn back around. Right. So it's not really nervous. It's just like oh let's get up on the wheel and get it done. Basically. Exactly. Yeah. You won a lot of championships, man, and you had a very uh, blessed career. Yes, uh, share with everyone how many championships you won. And some of the, uh, the the races that were meaningful to you, man. Uh, I've won three championships throughout my career, and uh, you know every race has it has its own meaning. Every race I learned something different, something right. better. So I wouldn't say I would I have a, a you know a very very best race, but you know we we learn week to week, and I get better each okay. week. Um, when you three championships, which is a lot, uh, one is fantastic. Um, what is that? How do you feel when you win a championship? Because this is from five years old to winning a championship, doing what you love doing. Uh, what's on your mind when you win that championship, man? It's a good feeling, man. <laughs> it's a happy feeling. But you know, yeah. in the back of your mind, in your mind, you gotta think, we gotta go out next season and and do top that championship, right? Because it never yeah. stops. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Exactly. Yeah, sure. um, you're you're only seventeen. A lot of the legends, a lot older. Right, my age or older than that. Who would you want? Who would you want to race if you could? Out of all the legends, who would you have wanted to race? Well, right now, my favorite driver would be Brad Keselowski, uh, or Joel Logano, the Penske Penske boy. So it'll be one of those in the newer generations. But uh, you know, in the older generation, they <laughs> say senior was the best. I would like to see. You. What I can do against him, I'm right. sure he's got a whole lot more experience <laughs> than me. But just to get out there on the racetrack with him would be would be pretty cool. Well, so tell us what goes into preparing for a race, Matt. Well, uh, all week we pretty much work on the cars, um, and then the night before the race we have to finish up everything and get the car loaded because we're leaving the next day. Um, some races, some race weekends we race. Um, we race Saturday and they have a practice Friday. Right. Or some race weekends we go down there Saturday and practice and race the same day. But uh, like I said, we, we have to get the car exactly right. We don't like to go to the racetrack <laughs> if, if the car is not exactly right. So, so do you work on your own cars, Matt? Yes, sir. Do all racers work on their own cars? Uh, I'm not going to say everybody right. does, but I mean, I'm the kind of guy that likes to work on stuff okay. and work period. I'd like to know what I have going on. Up exactly. Hood, basically. So once you get on the level uh, that you're going to be, okay, you're going to be very successful. I know it. Sound like Donald Trump. Don't you? You're going to be. <laughs> yeah. um, once you get on that level where you have your private mechanics, uh, are you still want to be hands on like that? I want to be, but you know, when it gets up <laughs> in the NASCAR, I hear you have to be called 30 different places in one okay, day. Basically. Gotcha. Gotcha. But I'm I really want to be in the shop working on right. the cars. Good stuff. Um, what's your big dream, Matt? What do you where do you want to go from here? Well, um, I want to go to first re, to bring it close. I want to go to college and graduate from college. Uh, I want to go to NC State uh, actually and study agriculture engineering. So, but I hope to keep my race career going and make it to NASCAR and of course live out my dream. I've always had had the urge to you know, grow stuff or be outside in the woods a lot. So right. if I can be a race car driver and, and have a farm, i say I'm pretty successful. That's a big deal right yeah, there. Yes, sir. And I remember you uh, uh, explained to me how you can tell if a cantaloupe is fresh or not. Yeah. I remember you smelled the tip of it, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, and that was like, you were like at 10 or something. Yeah, yeah. Showed something. me that, yeah. Um, you have your own businesses, um, sprinkler system, security system, body shop. Dude, this is crazy. And you've been do, you've been planting fruits and vegetables since you were uh, a little bitty kid. Yes, sir. Uh, t so how do you do all this and manage to stay an honor roll student? First, tell us about your businesses and how you manage all that, Matt. Well, my enterprise is my business. Um, yeah. My enterprise and my auto care solutions. Uh, we do our paint and body work and uh, any automotive mechanic job needed. Uh, we have a shop up on Patterson, uh, 4155 North Patterson Avenue is where we get all our stuff done. 
But uh, my my enterprise, um, that's where I have my security camera sprinkler system <laughs> and lawn care system uh, services. We, my lawn care services have gone. I mow it all over Winston Salem uh, right now. So in order for me to to do all these things and keep AV on a row, it, it's it's pretty tough. You, know? you, have to, you have to. I'm not even. I'm not gonna lie. I would much rather be working than studying but i know i have to study wow. and, and have to you know get on through my life because like my grandparents and everybody exactly. always said without college i mean you can have everything you want but it's going to be a whole lot harder yeah you know and, and they always say and knowledge is key yes sir or knowledge is power but one of the things uh the pastor of the church i attend said and he took it to another level he said uh, applied knowledge is where you got the power. Yes. You can have all the knowledge in the world, but if you don't apply it, you have nothing. And you apply the knowledge that you have. And I'm proud of you, Matt. Who inspired you to be where you are today? Really, it'd be my, my this entrepreneurship, this raising, this 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 hustling mentality you have. It'd be my grandpa. He, I pretty much I live in <laughs> Charlotte on four days a week to go yeah. to school, but on Friday evenings I'm up here and and I'm always around him and, and try to do. You know as much as as much yeah. as I can with him, but he's always been like that since I was a little kid. Now he used to be out when I was a little kid. <laughs> I was up at like six o'clock, five six o'clock in the morning, going to to work on a house or work wow. somewhere. And do something. <laughs> I'll never forget. I, I I talked to you. This was years ago, and you were cutting grass and chopping wood, and I said, Matt, what do you do for fun? You're always working. He's like, this is fun. Yes, sir. Uh, Working is fun for you. Yes, sir. Because this is what you know. Yes, sir. Right. What would you say to other young people out there that uh, are not as disciplined as Matt is? And and, and, and uh, a lot of kids, they have big dreams just like you, but they don't understand the hard work that goes into these dreams. Uh, what would you say to them, Matt, if you look well, into the camera? Hard, it's always going to be hard work, whatever you want to do. Whether you want to be a football player or a race car driver, you always got to go to practice. You got to, as I say, put in work. So what I would tell you is don't give up. Keep putting in that work. Put everything you have into it. And some doors will open up for you some way. Absolutely. Um, does Matt have a dating life? Can we talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because how could you date Matt? You're so busy. So how do you fit that in? You're 17. Yeah. You got to go to the prom. You think you're right. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, well, I, I got to have to work time right. in, into it. And I'm not flexible to just go go anywhere, anytime that, you know, they want me to. So, <laughs> so you got to be patient today, Matt. Yes. There you yeah, go. I guess you can say it like that. <laughs> Matt Murphy, yes, appreciate sir. you, man. I'm me. so proud of you. I love you uh, like a son, dude. Yes, sir. And you know I do. Yes, sir. You got it. Thank you. My man, Matt. If you want more information, uh, just look at the bottom of the screen and you can check it out.